During this lesson of math, we're going to talk about number bonds and how fact families can be written from number bonds. This is a big thing for New York math. They use number bonds in all kinds of ways and problems. And this is one of the main reasons that I wanted to share this with you. And it's also a good way for your kids to practice their math addition and subtraction both. So I'm going to start off by talking about how these squares relate to this fact family. Sometimes in New York math, they will show circles and then going down this direction to put the numbers in. Sometimes they have them off to the side going this direction to put the numbers in, but it's basically the same thing, just turning it and it's easier for me definitely to draw circles than squares. So the way this works is if you're gonna build a fact family from a number bond for your kids to practice, the quickest, easiest way is to put the two numbers that you wanna add together called the add-ins. Whoops, I forgot to write add-ins up there. I did put missing add-ins, but these are add-ins. And what happens is when you have this two and this four, the reason the lines come up together is because that is going to be your sum up here. And those are the three numbers that you're going to want to use for your fact family. And that shows how the, how the numbers on this bond are related. However, <laughs> I wasn't thinking I want to put these as different colors. So I had done this with the kids earlier on so they could see, use the wrong color, that when you add two numbers together, the two add-ins, your big number, because when you put red and blue together, you get purple and you get a six. The reason I like to use these, then they can see how they are used to put in the number sentences. Okay, so let's start with the first one. If I have a two, I'm going to add my four my sum will be a six. Now I tell kids the commutative property means abracadabra, I'm gonna switch those add-ins around. And so we'll start this number sentence with a four. We're going to add the two to the number sentence, which will give us the sum of six. Now, remember boys and girls, when we start our subtraction, we have to look at our three numbers and start with the big number. The big number is the six. You can take away the four to get your two. Again, when you're doing the subtraction, big number, so you'll want to start with your six again. Look, the six is the same at the beginning. This time though, instead of using the four to subtract, because it would be the same sentence, you want to use the difference, the two. And then this time the four will be the difference in your number sentence. So remember again, to practice these, put two numbers that you'd like to use first, add them together to get your third number. And this will show the relationship of your fact family. Write them here and your biggest number here so that you can do the addition and subtraction problems that are related so that you know that the two and a four and a six are related together. And there's lots of different ways they're related. The only time you would not fill out all four of these is if you have a doubles. That would mean that both 
of these numbers are the same number. So let me just give you an example of that. It's easier than trying to tell you without showing you. Let's say I wanted a four for one of my add-ins, another four for an add-in, and then I'm going to put eight here. So when I do my first sentence, it says four plus four is eight. Now think, even if I switch those around, it's still gonna say four plus four is eight. So you don't need to do this. The same is true with the subtraction part. If I have eight, I take away four, it will leave me with four. And even when I switch these two numbers in different places, it's still gonna say eight minus four is four. So doubles is the only time you have two number sentences in your fact family. I hope this helps. Talk to you soon, bye.